Hey guys, it's Matt here. Um, so basically, I want to show you guys something. This is my first look at uh, GPT-4. And as you can see here, um, with minimum prompting, I basically gave it the prompt of this one prompt right here, uh, this 909, leak code 909, snakes and ladders problem that essentially if you've watched my previous streams um specifically the stream where i did a brief overview on uh, chat gpt plus this was a problem that gpt3 and other gpt 3.5 variants were failing on and essentially the problem is you're given a board and there's various ladders and snakes and you have to come up with the minimum amount of hops it would take um to move from this position to this position given the various ladders and snakes um so in, in this one you would go from one to two two would bring you to 15 which would take you to 17 snake would pull you back down to 13 then you do another one hop from 14 to 35 and then you would end up at 36. So previously, if you you might want to take a link, I'll include the link in the in the description. The last video I made about this problem, ChatGPT three was failing. However, if you look at the solution I submitted, um, which was generated by GPT four, it pretty much nailed it. And not only that, it beat eighty one point sixty three percent of solutions in terms of runtime and 61.10% of solutions in terms of memory. Um, so it GPT-4 seems to be a lot more capable than GPT-3, at least in terms of what I've tested so far. And this is literally the first thing I tested on because I knew that this was a problem that GPT-3 was failing on. And I wanted to see if GPT-4 could do it. And impressing, impressively enough, it did. Um, uh, expect me to make more videos on GPT-4 in the future. I just want to get something out there and give my first impression so far as to what it's capable of. And right now, which is in case you didn't know, uh, GPT-4 is really only available to, um, it's really only available to GPT plus subscribers, but it came up with the solution and this solution copy and pasted with no changing i just changed essentially i added the little self variable input that that leak code makes you have but other than just changing the uh function signature to make it fit what what the leak code input was expecting i made no changes um and impressively enough it came up with the solution anyways guys i'll uh talk to you soon and uh, hope you enjoyed my short little video Hope to do a more in-depth dive onto potential uh, applications of GPT-4, and you know, maybe um, in that video I'll also talk about what I think the uh, societal impact to both workers and businesses will be now that there's something like this out there. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon.